to know what it's been like for you to have Dante Dimas as, you know, an older role model or um, person for you to kind of look up to on the team and how he makes you better as a receiver as well. Uh, Dante Dimas, he's been great. I mean, coming in, I would I would have thought like he would have been like, this is my receiver group. Nobody else is getting touches, but I mean, he's been welcoming me. He, he gave me tips and tools to help elevate my game. And that's, I mean, he's really a team guy, so. That's all you can really ask for, Dante. I mean, he's a great player too, so I mean, he's he's a special person. Yeah, thank you. Uh, just, I want to ask you, what aspect in, in your game that you feel like you improved from year one to year two? I said the biggest thing was slowing the game down. Last year, I was trying to rush everything, trying to make every play because I didn't know when I would get the ball again. Now I'm just taking it one play at a time and just trying to go as the game flows. Can you talk about Tolino Tagovailoa's, the difference in his game from last year to this year? Um, I, mean, I think I said this, I spoke on this last week. I think, I mean, he's really just like turned into like the alpha leader, the alpha dog kind of in the offensive room. I mean, last year he wasn't really like a vocal leader. He was just going to work and show you that like he's a QB. Now he's vocal. If somebody messes up, he's on you about it. I mean, he's, he's everything you want a QB at this point. Um, I was just trying to make a play. <laughs> Nothing special. Just trying to make a play. Show people like, what I can do. What was it like getting like, some of the younger players to play? Maybe you don't get as much playing time because they get to have some moments in the second half. Oh, uh, it was great. Coach Locke's always, Coach Locke's big on like, we need everybody to win the off-road game. So I think some of the younger guys got a great opportunity to see how uh, a real game feels against somebody else. So I think it was good for them to get their, get their experience up, and I think like eight different guys scored, so that was that was pretty good. So how, how good is this offense to you? So how good I think the offense to be? Yeah. Um, I mean, as good as we, that's really a hard question. I mean, we got to go out and execute every day. I can't, I don't want to give any predictions, but I mean, we can be special if we just keep putting the pieces together. I think I want to ask you, what do you think? For you personally, what do you think makes this uh, wide receiver group so special? Who I think makes the receiver group special? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's kind of like a pick your poison receiver group. You got Dante Dean, this is stretching the field vertically with the size. I can get underneath with the mismatches and Yak. Uh, Jason Jones, he's kind of like a smooth guy in the route running. So it's, it's pick your poison, really. I mean, you can't, I don't think you can stop all four of us, all three of us. At one time, so. Kim, what did it mean to you personally to play today on the 20th anniversary of Nine Eleven, and how did Coach prepare you and the rest of the team for going out there on the big stage under the lights today? Uh, the preparation was the same, but I know Nine Eleven is it's a big deal. Given as many lives lost, uh, I was only eight months at the time, so I know it's it's. For it to still be like as a big of a deal, I know it's, it's something really special. And for you, kind of as you now have a quick turnaround this week, what are you looking forward to, um, you know, ahead to be able to play Big Ten play after coming off these two games? Uh, we're just taking it one game at a time. We got Illinois, so I think it'll be a good challenge for this Big Ten game. Uh, it's a quick turnaround for sure. We got to get this one out the way tonight. So, I mean, it's going to be a good one.